Hello, in this video, we will discuss the specific steps of conducting a reading and writing lesson. Normally, ELT textbooks divide a reading lesson into three main stages, pre, why, and post-reading. In this video, we would like to divide it into smaller steps so that the teachers can find it easier to put the process into practice. In the two first steps, the teachers can lead the pupils to focus on the language and the topic through the activities or the discussions which is related to the content or topic of the lesson. Then, the keywords in the reading passage can be pre-taught, but remember that you should not teach no more than 8 words to help the students or the pupils remember more easily and have a focus. Also, through these steps, pupils can get to get the main ideas of the text. The next steps will focus on discovering the main ideas of the text. First, the teachers ask the pupils to find out the main ideas of the whole text by skimming or to check if their earlier predictions regarding the topic were correct. When your pupils are skimming the text, remember to set a time limit and monitor their work carefully. After time is up, giving them some time to discuss the answers in pairs or in groups before checking them with the whole class. And then in the feedback sessions, we can check the students' understanding. Then we move on to detailed reading with similar steps. The teacher assigns the pupils with the tasks which focus on the detailed information. Inference questions can also be asked to facilitate deeper understandings among the students. After learners finish reading under the time pressure and the teacher's supervision, the answers will be checked in pairs, groups and ask the whole class again. Please make sure that all the pupils understanding the reasons and the justifications for the answers carefully. The last stage is called extension task because it usually involves the productive skills like speaking or writing in reaction to the text or building on information within the text. With the new English textbook, this could create the link to the writing session that the students are going to study in the next session. Now, let's look at an example of a reading passage from an English textbook. An example extension task for this may be write a description of your own family members or draw a table which describes what your family members do and where they work. Meanwhile, a writing lesson can be divided into seven steps. First of all, the teacher can generate or elaborate the ideas from the pupils so that their writing is more interesting, meaningful, and memorable. Next, the teacher helps the pupils to select the most important or the most relevant ideas for their writing based on the pool of ideas that they have brainstormed. In the third step, by analyzing a model text, the teacher can equip the pupils with the tools to express the ideas in the most appropriate way. It also helps raise the learner's awareness of the conventions of typical texts of different genres in English. With a list of ideas, the teacher then helps the pupils to organize those ideas systematically. After that, the pupils may write one or more drafts depending on their level and their time allowance. When they finish, they can give the products to their friends for peer evaluation, which not only helps them realize problems or mistakes, but also raise their awareness of an audience other than their teacher. This stage can also be done in a creative way with the use of gallery work. In this activity, the pupils may post their writings on the board or the wall in the classroom so that their friends can go around and give comments and feedback. The last stage is, of course, reviewing. 
in which the pupils write the final draft to submit to the teacher. They should be encouraged to check the details of grammar and spelling carefully. This could also be considered the end of the writing lessons. So, in today's lesson, we have covered how to conduct a reading and writing lesson. Remember that these steps are tentative and flexible, which means that you can rearrange or even change them to suit your teaching context. We hope that you will have very interesting lessons in reading and writing. Thank you.